Hey yo guys, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. It's actually not gonna be a regular vlog again. I'm sorry. I am during the week all the time in the military. When I'm free from the military, I'm trying to keep you guys updated and entertained. And I saw one comment that I should do a video about my top five moments in my skiing career. And I thought that's a great idea. Let's do it. Oh, and the sun showed up for the video as well. That's perfect. <laughs> if you were wondering why my uh, voice is that weird, I have been sick the last week, so, and my voice is still not perfect. Okay. So I choose five best moments from my skiing career, which I think have been, yeah, the best moments. So let's start with the first one. And the first one is. It is training camp with Swiss Freeski. So when I was 14, the Swiss Freeski team told me that I have the opportunity to go and train with the Swiss Freeski team in the United States for one whole month. I had the chance to train with Elias Ambul. This is Elias Ambul. Look for a triple out of Elias as well. One, two, three, there's a triple. Oh, bam. Kai Mahler. Will Mahler bring the switch double Misty 1440, his final attempt, yes. And at this time they were already professionals and they were at the top. My dream was to become a professional skier one day as well. This was insane because I could learn from them and they gave me also advice and yeah that was just an amazing trip it was my first trip to america it was my first trip with the swiss freeski team Best moment number four. <laughs> Olympic team 2018. After I missed out the 2014 Olympics in Sochi by one spot, I was really sad, but I was just too young, you know. Seeing your friends going to the Olympics was hard for me, and yeah, it was tough. But then, four years later, I made the Olympic team for South Korea. The Olympics is, is a special event, it's not a normal event. It was just a crazy experience um, with the Olympic village. And grabbing these Olympic clouds. <laughs> So the media attention was insane during the Olympics. When you're at the Olympics at the start, and you know that your family is watching, your village is watching, your grandmother, your grandfather, whole Switzerland, the whole world is watching, that's crazy and that's also at the same time makes you really nervous. But at the same time it's really cool as well. Yeah, I will never forget that. And to say that you are an Olympian is pretty cool, but not enough for me. I, I don't want to be just an Olympian. So that was my best moment number four. Now onto the podium. Best moment number three. My first parkour video. I have to tell you a little background story before. So I was uh, training in South Fe in summer and I rode down with the skateboard. Then a piece, piece of stone came under my wheel and then I crashed onto my shoulder, broke my collarbone, missed out the first World Cup of the season. 
I was really bummed and sad. And yeah, so I took that time, went to school, started rehabbing. And then after six weeks we did in the sports school, we did a parkour. I was like to my coach, yeah, can you film me? I'm gonna try to, to do the whole parkour. So it took me around 10 tries and I had the video. And <clears throat> the next weekend I thought like, should I post that video? I don't know if people are gonna like it. But then I thought like, fuck it, I'm gonna post that video whatever people are gonna think because it sounds so stupid but I thought people might think that's boring or I don't know I didn't know what to expect but yeah then I posted that video it, it just went completely viral I didn't know how big social media was. That was the point where I realized how cool social media is and also how important. And I don't know if I would do vlogs and be that and do that much content on social media if that wouldn't have happened. So I'm really grateful for that parkour video that opened my eyes. And now to the next one, number two. Overall World Cup champion it was one of the best days in my life. Uh, I won that day my very first World Cup in Silva Plana and with that I also won the overall World Cup. When I think about luck, that day comes to my mind. I have to explain you why. Before that World Cup I was second place in the overall World Cup standing and Oyster and Braten was in the first place. And on that day on in the Silver Plana World Cup, I was in first place currently and Oystein Braten in second place. But he had still more points with the second place so he also would have won the overall World Cup when it would have ended like that. But then my teammate Fabian Bursch put down a perfect run and bumped into second place so that bumped Oystein to third place and that means it was enough for me to win the overall World Cup just by like seven or ten points, just by a few points. I performed really well but I was still really lucky and then I won my first globe and the first World Cup win. It was just an insane day and I was 17 years old that time. I mean, yeah, and now I have two more globes. But uh, Andre Raggedly is the Relaxed, yes, super relaxed. Uh, really want to put something in special for the uh, to... without gray, without wind on the stairs. Uh, Finishes well, and, and that's uh, going to be a big score again. So let's see 91. 91.20. Great, uh, two. Oh, that's even better in the first round. Well, that best moment of my career yet. Quad cork 18. It's hard to explain why this one is in the first place, but it was just a normal day in spring. It was the first day of Audi 9s. We drove from Flims to Watles in the morning <coughs> and then we went to the hotel and our coach said to us, hey guys, I stay down. You guys can go up and just ski the castle and have fun and chill the first day. And we were like, yeah, that's fine. Then we went up, me and Luca, at 2 o'clock, ate some lunch. And then we shred the castle and yeah, it was the biggest jump I've ever hit. I did a few double corks, then triple cork. And yeah, I felt right away that there was space for one more. and. I asked Luca if, if, if there's enough space for the fourth flip, he told me yeah and also Nico the organizer, he uh, coached me 
actually that day and yeah so I went for my first quad I had it in my mind and in my head and I knew it that I'm gonna land it we're going for the first ever quad 18 no way good luck bro okay. thank you man I landed that quad cork 18 perfectly on the se second try and that was just an insane feeling because I knew no one ever has done it before and yeah that feeling when you land something like this is insane like I don't know it's it's so cool I was like eh. skiing down the mountain that day I, I I was just really happy and grateful for everything and that's why I rate this as my number one moment because I think I have been that day the happiest Andrea Gatley ever so yeah that's why it's my number one yeah those were my top five moments of my young skiing career which is still not over yet make sure to subscribe as always like the video if you enjoyed it and I'm out peace 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 out